Ladies and gentlemen, and our viewers out there, we are yet having a very special moment together with our friend and friend of the youth, none other than Reverend Father Justin Ogain. Father Justin Ogain is the first Ugandan Komboni priest. And we are really blessed that we have him to tell the history and to, to say something in summary about his priestly vocation. Father again, you're most welcome. Yes, thank you, Mr. Joyce. In my first message is that I'm happy for all these years. I've already finished 50 years, and when this year is 52, then 69, now this year is 52. I should say that I'm happy for my priestly life. I've never regretted, although challenges have been there, mm. difficulties as usual in life. And then my life has been moving a lot. I was in the Sudan for the first years of my priestly life mm. in the 80s. And then also Malawi in the Ajdais Blantyre in different places. Of course, you all being in, in a different country, the have always challenges. You have to adapt, you have learned languages. I can uh, say, <coughs> talk, talking about six of them, six languages. And then also, being also facing different personal problems. I w it was not difficult for me because we were formerly as Combonians. My novitiate was a Sunnydale in England, and then four years of scholastic theology in the north of Italy in, in Venegono. And all this, it was in the 60s. I was then 69. Actually, it was a very turbulent moment for the church also, because it was immediately after the council. When we were students there, it was after the Vatican Council, and the church was trying to, to steer the strength of faith in the people after so many doubts and difficulties of the church to settle. Now we cannot understand it maybe, but it was very turbulent. Terrib mm. For those of my age who have lived that time, even if doctrine of faith was being doubted by theologians, all kind of things, infallibility of the Pope and so on. All these kind of challenges I went through. I see the work of God and I would say I have no other word but I'm happy for all these years the Lord has given me and uh, as you maybe heard, Jesus was telling him the first but I say that Jesus' word is very strong in me the first will be the last one. Mm. Now I say that I'm the last, no strength. You cannot do all what you were doing when you were young. So I ask you young people to come. Come and join the Combonian, join the priestly life in the ministry of the church. Mm. This is my message for you, that I am now the last one. Without strength, maybe an old man. So I need your help. We need all of you. The church needs you. Need your good life, your good the capacity of uh, gifts of intelligence. What we need all of you to come to the church and to save God's people. Thank you very much. Powerful message there from Reverend Father Justin. And uh, we are aware we just celebrated the World Day for the grandparents and the elderly on 25th July 2021. And in the message of the Holy Father, I'll be with you always. And that was the theme. And he rightly said, I'm bringing this Father Justin from the statement uh, of where you are now the last. One of the strong words or message of the Holy Father was that there is no retirement age in proclaiming the word of God, in evangelizing. The people of God and I think this for me is a living example of that message of the Holy Father that there is no retirement age 
in the evangelization, proclamation of the word of God. And dear friends, especially young people, you are seeing this right from uh, Father Justin, who has continuously given his time to do his missionary work. And Bishop uh, Wokorach mentioned that he even can ride a bicycle. How many of you young people out there feel very exhausted when we assign you as your animators, when we assign you responsibilities to go and do the work of God, but specifically among your fellow youth, peer-to-peer -peer evangelization? First thing is, where is the means of transport? How will I reach out to the young people? But you have learned from our friend, uh, our custodian of the faith, and that is Father Justin, that it is not impossible to reach out to proclaim the word of God if you yourself is convinced that God is using you to pass this message to your fellow youth. And want to thank God for you, Father Justin. Thank you so much. Uh, the message is clear. Do your part. Everything is possible. And that is a very powerful message we want to leave for you out there, our young people, that whenever you're called, do your part. And everything is possible. I have been Zako Joyce, the National Youth Coordinator of Uganda Episcopal Conference. Be blessed.